What is up my riders? So first things first, I'm gonna put a link down below for you guys to go and upvote this Reddit post that I put up today. I've been trying, like I told you guys, to Reddit uh, to this PewDiePie submission so that maybe we could get a meme or something funny in Lawai, uh, the show that PewDiePie does uh, weekly. So that'd be really cool if you guys could just go down and upvote it. I will link it below. Um, I also want to tell you guys about this amazing thing that we're doing right now. I extended the giveaway to the end of today. So we have till 12 p.m. It's right around 7, 8 p.m. now. Uh, I talked about this in a live stream, but um, we're still doing the 10,000 subscriber giveaway if we can make it, which that means I'm giving a phone away to every single person that entered that. Without further ado, we are going to go back to what this video was about so a lot of you guys weren't subscribed to this channel when this actually happened <laughs> back when i was around like i think under 900 subscribers i was still new to editing i wanted to do a day in the life of um and a lot of youtubers were doing that at the time doing like what they do uh from morning to night and i wanted to get this shot uh, where I like came out of the shower. <laughs> Don't ask why, it was, it was the day in the life. So I started off my day getting up, recorded me getting out of bed, rolling over and all that good stuff, and then hopping in the shower and, and coming back out. And it was supposed to be like this, this neat scene that I thought I was gonna do. Well, for some reason, I don't know if it was my computer or what, when I went to edit this stuff, I did edit out like the part where I got out of the shower. Obviously, I didn't have clothes on. I don't know why I didn't wear underwear just in case uh, because that makes it easier to blur out too because obviously you don't have something that you're exposing to everybody. And uh, so <laughs> when I saved the file, it either got corrupted or like I said, the edit didn't, didn't stick um, because when I, I uploaded it, none of the edits like we're on the video when the, it finally hit on YouTube. It probably was like 20 minutes later and I went back to check over to see the comments and stuff. I only had four comments at the time. I think I only was getting around like less than 100 views in general. Um, I think I had probably like 30 views I want to say. I don't know how many people actually watched the video and how many people just watched it to say they watched it. I still had a lot of people back then that would watch my videos and not actually completely watch my videos. And I, I went back on and I had one particular person that was like, yo, and they they put a timestamp and I was like, I, did, I, I was like, oh, did they think this was funny or whatever? So I clicked on it. It was literally my dick. It was my dick like close up, like this far from the camera when I got out of the shower and forgot to edit that part out, I guess the save didn't stay. I, I did edit the part out, obviously. I wasn't trying to upload it, but that is what ended up being on YouTube. And my account was so small at the time, YouTube didn't even know that that was going on. They, they let it happen. They let that video uh, air on YouTube because I wasn't being, I guess, monitored as carefully because my channel was smaller. But that was literally the most embarrassing thing, my, the most embarrassing mistake that I think I've ever done literally at the time that this happened i was like so ashamed that i did that like i was like so embarrassed and i was texting my sister and i'm like michaela i literally just uploaded my dick to youtube and i didn't know who saw all this and it literally like destroyed me i was so upset by this and it was such a a mind fuck that i was like yo how did i do this and it's been long enough that I think I can laugh about it. And honestly, it's it wasn't as big of a deal as it was to me at the time, because obviously it was like the end of the world for me. It was like almost like, it's essentially in my mind, like your whole school gets uh, your leak nudes or something like crazy like that, because I didn't mean to put it out there. But of course, my editing, um, that was the day that I was like, yo, you, you need to actually start going through and 100% checking over your videos and re-watching them and then upload them and re-watch them and, and see how you like them after the fact and all that kind of stuff. And that way, nothing like that would happen. But I also decided I was never going to do edits like that that risked anything um, insane. <laughs> so that was the craziest story time that I think I could ever put out there but I, I thought about that today and I was like 
you know what, today's the day that I, I finally make a video and, and I'm always honest with you guys and I was like, you know what, that would make for a funny story time video. I'm sure a lot of people come and watch it because of the title. It definitely was one of my most embarrassing moments of my life. I hope you guys can appreciate the story and um, definitely learn a lesson because I learned my lesson and I would never do something like that again or take the risk of doing anything like that again. But like I said, it wasn't on purpose. And uh, for the people, I'm sure it, it scarred the, the couple people that saw it, or, or I don't know. I didn't know how old <laughs> the audience was or, or the person. And, and I did remember that I like told them on Twitter, I think they followed me at the time. I was like, hey, like I'm so sorry that that happened or whatever. And I had one other person that said they had a screenshot of it and they were gonna like leak it if I didn't give them money. And I was like, yeah, you go, you go right ahead and leak that. I don't, I don't care enough to to pay you off because regardless, you you fall in the the victim category of that. You you give them money to keep it quiet and then it's just all of a sudden they keep asking more and more and more. If someone's blackmailing you, either there's a high possibility they don't have it anyways or you're never gonna end up like fulfilling this person. They're just gonna keep taking advantage. So I, I said screw off and I apologize to the, the small portion that saw it and I don't know if anyone that was actually around back then that saw it or is, is still around till this day but it would be funny to see if anyone like commented on this video after seeing the title and was like yeah i was around back then it was not a proud day and it was literally like the worst possible time you come out of the shower and it was cold and it's like <laughs> uh I'm, I hope you guys like the story times too. I know that you guys usually say about, why don't you do story times anymore? You used to do story times and the story times were fun and stuff. So I've been on my upload grind. So I was like, why not upload another video, a lighthearted video for today. With that being said in the story over and done with, um, if you guys want to make sure to try to get uh, people to spam my account, uh, watch my videos, make sure to like all the videos you can and comment on all the videos you can because we got to get to the goal. We have a goal of 6,100 subscribers. That will be an iPhone 6S Plus giveaway. And then we have a list of them. They're still on the live stream video. So if you go on either live stream from today or yesterday it'll tell you we have like milestones now that we're doing if we can hit a certain goal set i will do a giveaway per milestone um and i also am like i said extending the 10,000 subscriber giveaway if we can hit that somehow um, i love you guys make sure to be happy stress less i am so thankful for all you guys and thank you so much for giving me the best christmas and new year's present of them all I literally get to do my favorite thing in the world and that is YouTube. YouTube is the meaning of my life and I love doing every second in every every video, every upload. I, I take pride in it and I love doing it. I love you guys. Make sure to be happy, stress less. I'll see you in the next one. As always, ah.